Looks like it's not even stunning him. Okay, time for this. Are you dead? He's still not dead. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that is almost entirely made up of wasteland generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. However, we are in the one and only very small green biome that exists on the entire map. The whole rest of the map is made up of wasteland. Um, this is episode 48, 9, 50, 51. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Somewhere around episode 50, we'll put it that way. And um, <clears throat> anyway, so I have spent a lot of time off camera um, just getting my base built. And uh, I'm still not finished with it, but I'm I'm getting close. And so I wanted to bring you back uh, for an update on where we are with the base, show you a couple of things. And then we have a... <clears throat> Uh, we just started tier two, so I got a tier two fetch and clear. I, I finished off the rest of the uh, the tier one quests, and so if we'll we'll go ahead and uh, do that uh, a little bit later on in this episode. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and cover the base first. So, um, in terms of the actual structure itself, I've got uh, everything, uh, almost everything done, uh, except for uh, the upper floor. So I'm going to do one more um, floor here. Uh, I'm going to wall this in and put a roof on it, and then this is going to be, you know, we're going to put the bedroll up here and potentially extra storage if we need it or whatever. Um, and then I'm slowly upgrading from the ground up, upgrading the base to reinforced concrete. Uh, so as you can see, down here uh, in the pit area and everything up to, <clears throat> up to the arrow slits anyway, I have upgraded to reinforced concrete, so I actually need to do the arrow slits next. But I am out of concrete at the moment, so I figured, okay, well, this is a good time to bring, bring back the peeps and show you guys what's going on. Um, incidentally, we don't need these um, we don't need these storage chests any longer. These are just here temporarily, because uh, once I finished this second floor, then I kind of moved everything up here. Uh, but now we have everything moved up to the top, so let's get these out of the way. Get a little bit of a little bit of wood back, not very much, but a tiny amount. And um, okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Whoops! At uh, let's take a look at outside first, and then we'll take a look at inside. And then there's a, a few things I have obtained that I want to show you as well. Um, actually, let's start with that. I have a green shotgun that I was able to make because of the fact that I now have a boomstick level three. Okay, so once I obtained a boomstick level three, uh, we went ahead and made the green shotgun, and uh, now we have a pump shotgun, which is really cool. I also have um, up to 69er and mother load two level four, as you can see with the, uh, the levels that I've gotten. So now I'm very effective, you know, at mining and that sort of thing because um, we're still we still have a lot of mining to do as we continue on. I have one point available, so here's my plan at the moment. Um, I'm going to continue working towards the um, grease mucking level four, which will allow us to make the uh, the four by four. And we need intellect level eight to do that. Uh, we have uh, six currently, so that means we need a total of four points, assuming that I bring this all the way to intellectual. However, what I'm planning on doing is bringing this to brilliant we are sooner or later, we are going to come across some nerdy glasses. And once we come across the nerdy glasses, um, I will effectively have intellectual, which will then allow me to take Grease Monkey at level four and make the four by four. Because I really want the four by four for the storage space more than anything. But plus the fact that the four by four um, out in the wasteland can actually break through the, the you know, the little iron chunks. So it'll... The, you know, it, it still won't break through like, you know, the little the, the brick blocks that are out there, but it'll break through, you know, the stone, the cinder blocks, the iron blocks, and it'll be much more useful for moving through the wasteland. Okay. Now, here's the thing, though. I found from the trader this. Check this out. I found and bought from him the gyrocraptor chassis schematic. Gyrocopter, rather. Not gyrocraptor 
I said gyrocraptor. What the hell, man? So we're going to learn that. I just wanted to show that to you on camera. And what that means, guys, is that I can now make the gyrocraptor. And that also means I do not have to go all the way up to um, the, the ma you know mastermind and intellect. Okay. Um, at the most, we would have to go up to uh, up to eight, right? If if for you know if if I was just a stroke of bad luck and I don't find nerdy glasses, um, eight is the highest we would need to go to make the four by four, and then then I can actually make the gyro capture. In fact, I could probably make it. I, I can make it right now, assuming I had the parts for it. That's interesting. What, is, what does it take? Um, none of that's a big deal. The biggest thing that it was it's going to take is uh, 187. That's kind of a weird number. Why 187? You know, I can damn near make this right now. Because look what else I found. I found a crucible in some loot. I don't remember where I exactly I found it. I think it was the last tier one quest that I did, but I found a crucible. Um, so I can actually make steel now, and I already have a hundred. Gosh dang it, man. I can um, I can damn near make the gyrocopter almost now. I still want the 4x4 because it's going to have more storage space than even the copter, but dang. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to gonna be looking at that. It didn't even occur to me, you know, because I just found this crucible not very long ago. It didn't even occur to me that, uh, um, that I could make that. Here, let's make the rest of those up. Wow. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I found that. Let's see what else. What else did I want to show you in terms of stuff that we found? Um, yeah, we found the gyrocopter. We got the. We've got the the pump shotgun now. Uh, is there anything else? I can't. I don't know. If I remember, I'll, I'll I'll let you know. Anyway, let's take a look at the base now. Okay, so basically, I have built a ramp, as you can see here, <clears throat> and. Um, uh, the ramp supports, I, I probably could have actually just used one of these right in the middle of this rather than two on each end, but you know what, whatever. It's done. And, and I mentioned this in the last episode too, I am over building this base. I, and the reason that I'm over building it is, is to get the XP, because one of the best ways to get XP in 7 Days to Die Alpha uh, 18 is to, is to build, is to upgrade. So I'm getting a crap ton of XP from doing this, so it's worth it from that point of view. Plus, you know, if the base is, is overbuilt, then it's just going to be that much stronger. Now, I'm not planning on ever using this for a Horde Knight. Um, it would be fine for early Horde Knights, but of course, we got pretty nasty Hordes now. So this is just, you know, for the running Hordes that come through and the onesie twosie zombies and the screamers that might scream Hordes in because of all the heat that we're going to eventually be generating. But this base is pretty stout, and it should be able to handle it. Um, as you can see, I've got spikes uh, all around the support structures. All the support structures have the angled, you know, the steep wedge uh, wall that the zombies, you know, generally uh, don't do major damage to. They can damage it, but not like they would if it was a straight wall. And so this is a this is a pretty stout base. Um, onesie twosie zombies don't even have a chance. Um, if a screamer does happen to call in, you know, a horde, or we get a running horde coming after us, which you know happens all the damn time. You know, we this base is still very well defended, and it's going to kick the shit out of even a running horde. And anybody that happens to, you know, come into the pit here, and I've noticed, too, that the zombies, before I put the spikes up, you know, they would um, they would hang out more on the walls. They wouldn't really go in here. But now that those spikes are in place, which is going to, you know, potentially tell their AI, hey, that's not a pathway I can go, uh, it might encourage them to come more in here and if they do you know then i've got the opening and i've got a bunch of pipe bombs i've already made up and and you know and we'll make grenades too and you know we'll just blow them to smithereens so this base is going to do really well uh, against you know running horde screamers normal zombies that sort of thing but again it's not designed to be a horde base our hordes are too nasty for this base even this base to to withstand them now Okay, so anyway, uh, I, as you can see, I got a drawbridge there. I might upgrade that to a power drawbridge at some point later, but <clears throat> it's good enough for now. I might even put another, you know, ramp on the other side later, um, so that way when we leave, we don't have to turn around. We can just go off, and we can also approach the base from the other side and come up this way. Uh, so I'll probably do that later, but I'm not, uh, you know, I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, I think that pretty much updates us on where we are with the base. As you can see, I've got the storage in. I've got four forges in. Uh, this forge is for um, ingots. This forge is for uh, brass. This one's going to be for lead, and this one's going to be for uh, cement. 
So that's the plan there. I do have um, an anvil and an advanced bellows in the first two forges. Excuse me, um, those are the ones that I had over by the Hurry Harry's place until I moved over here. I, I can make the bellows because I bought the recipe from uh, from the dude, uh, the trader dude. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm going to make a couple more of those. I cannot make the, the uh, anvil yet, so I'm either going to, you know, I'll eventually either find the recipe for it or I'll just buy two more off the trader. So not, they're not that expensive. There's like 450 dukes. Um, and I only need four in total ever. So, uh, yeah. So eventually we'll get that. And but and then, you know, if, I, if we happen to come across another crucible, why not? Yeah, we'll put those in too. But um, anyway, we're in pretty good shape. So we got our own chem bench up here now. We got two um, smithies, or sorry, I'm in arc mode, uh, work benches. One of them is going to be more dedicated to ammo, whereas the other one will be for just whatever else we need. And then I've got the two concrete uh, mixers. And, I've you know, two have two has been good enough for me to keep up with uh, everything that I need to do. And then, of course, I've got all the storage bins labeled with signs, uh, and everything is nice and neat and organized. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's grab the four items that are in the two-cell crate, and we're going to go over to the trader. And I'm just going to check his inventory because I haven't actually, I don't remember the last time I was actually over there. See what he's got. And then we're going to uh, go do that tier two quest. Do we have any, uh, in, anything in here that I need? Yeah, we need the money. Okay. Nope. I think we're good. I often, I have been up until now anyways been keeping stuff I want to sell in the bike but now you know we got a good storage situation okay so let's see you reset on day 55 it is day they saying you um wouldn't you know it the damn trees are right in the way oh uh, by the way I did I did uh, get a couple of drops there it is I did get a couple of drops um, off camera too. But then we still have a few that we need to go for eventually. Okay, so that drop there, um, I bought a, a tripod mod for my sniper rifle too, by the way. I just want to see if I can determine, see that, that's not very, I don't think it's beyond that cliff. I think it's in front of that cliff. In fact, it could even drop on that road or in front of that road is my guess based upon you know how close that it looks so let's just see what it does and then we'll mark it on the map and that one should be a relatively easy one to find some of them are a pain in the ass to find and there's a couple i just have not been able to find at all so let's see what this does is it oh what the hell it disappeared before it landed that's hacks uh all right well Hmm. So let's see here. The road we were looking at is we were looking across to here. This is that sheer cliff that we were looking at, I think, right? No, that's be actually beyond there. This uh this is actually a roadway and I think this might have been the sheer cliff that we were looking at. So Hmm. I want to, I want to, boy, I don't know. I'm really not sure, to be honest with you, where that would have landed. This is the cabin. Uh, I'm just going to say somewhere around in here. And I stopped trying to, you know, figure out which one's drop one, drop two, drop three, because it's just, <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, that's something we can go look for at some point. All right, let's go back to the trader. Sell our stuff and see what he's got for sale. We are looking for nerdy glasses. That is a hugely, hugely important item that we are gunning for right now. All right, so let's see. Let's first of all sell him. I've got so many engines right now from all the cars that I've wrenched. I should have probably repaired that battery, but whatever. Uh, like, uh, they're coming out my ears, man. I'll tell you what. Okay, let's look in the secret stash first. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Hmm... Is it the chassis or the, or the, or, or the other stuff that we know? 
the accessories. Y'all come back now. Oh, we don't know either one of those things. Okay. I'd rather buy the schematic than the actual part because I mean, the part's easy to make. Not that big of a deal. On the other hand, it would save us four more points if we ultimately ended up having to, you know, get it through the perks. Hmm. Wasteland Treasures Volume 3. What's that do? It's harvest acid. Nah, I don't need more acid. I've got plenty of acid. That's just kind of a lame wasteland, in my opinion. Okay. We're gonna... We might... We may do a respec at some point, too. That's kind of expensive. 40,000 coin. But, you know, once we start getting into Tier 3 and Tier 4 quests, the money's gonna come in pretty good. All right, well, I'll keep this in mind, but 18,000 coin, that's a bit much for us right now. It won't be later on, but it is, it's a bit much for us right now. So let's, let's hold off on that. Okay, let's just look at everything else that he's got. Um, we'll just kind of go through this really quick. Shotgun parts, no, we don't need those right now. Sink, da, 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 da. Um, workbench, cement mixer, retracting ma. <coughs> excuse me, you know what? I'm going to buy all this glue. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, buy all this glue. What else does he got? Boy, he's got the accessories too. Dang. We would have to really knock out a bunch of quests to get enough money to buy both of these things um, in three days. But man, it would save us four freaking points if we if we could actually do that. Because we only need it once, right? Hmm. I'm buying up all the military fiber whenever he has it, just because you can't find that in loot. Muzzle brake mod, let's buy that. Whew, I, I gotta think about that. I gotta think about that. So, the accessories is 18,000, and the chassis is 18,000. So we'd have to come up with 36,000 coin to buy both of those within the next three days, which means I would probably have to stop all building, which I could do. I mean, the base is, is adequate now. Everything else we need to do on it is just kind of icing on the cake, so to speak. Um, if we just, if we just buckled down and did nothing but quest after quest after quest, we might be able to earn enough money to buy those two parts. Boy, with you? that is something to consider. We've got three days to do that, if that's what we decide to do. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go Let's go ahead and do this tier uh, two quest. And then we'll just, I don't know, we'll kind of see. How, mu how much is that going to give us, by the way, in terms of, of moolah? We're going to get oh, 1,270. <laughs> that's not very much. But, I mean, we're going to find stuff to sell, though, too, is the thing. Um. All right, so... Yeah, let's go. Let's just go drop off this stuff. I don't know, guys. I mean, I could I could do it. If I really put my mind to it, you know. I could probably make that happen. We don't have any skills in, you know, in uh, bartering. Where is that even at? Intellect. Better barter. Get a 20% better deal. 20% is pretty good. Um... We, we'd be able to get a little more money, you know, for the stuff that we sold. We have one point that we could put in there if that's... Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, we're gonna... We have a couple mods that we... I think everything's fully modded, right? Green stuff. This has got four mods. This has got three mods. Yeah. Everything we have... We can't put a muzzle brake on a compound bow, so that's not going to really help us. All right, so let's just stick this in here for now. We'll put this in the armor uh, bin, and glue is going to go in Kim mats. Okay. This is going to hurt. Ouch. Mm. Oh, it didn't hurt. Never mind. Last time I did it, it caused me just a little bit of damage. Okay, so we're going to have to go um, into the wasteland, actually into the mega city, as a matter of fact, uh, to do this next quest. What is the quest? It is 
Business old. Okay. All right, let's do this. Okay. So, um... Let's just get this out of the way. So if we need to make a quick getaway, we have a, a clear pathway uh, to get through there. All right, I want to use my shotgun and my 9mm as much as possible just because, you know, that's the cheapest ammo to make. And we'll, you know, we'll save the M60 for oh shit moments. So everything is fully loaded. Yep, okay, good. Um, I'm trying to remember where the fat loots are in this place. Is it all the way on the roof? Let's just take a, let's take a gander. See if we can get a double loot out of this thing. I have done this POI before, but it's been a while, so I'm not, I don't, I'm not really familiar with it. Oh, shit. We got an irradiated... Yep, there's the fat loots right there, but we got an irradiated something-something there. Well, it's not a cop, so that's a good thing. Alright, so let's see. How about if we take you... Stick you right there. A little extra backup. Oh, that's a biker. Oh, Lord. That's scary. We might need to use the M60 on this guy. This guy is no joke. I tell you what. He is no joke. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, that's a lot of bad guys. Let's get off the... Okay, that that works. I mean, we're still gonna have to kill those bastards, but we got them off of the roof anyway. Okay. Huh? Can they come up through here? I'll bet you they can. All right, let's assume they're going to. Whoops. And we will be ready for them. Uh, give me this. Okay, are they coming up here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's get the fat loots. Oh, man, you're locked? What the hell? Are they trying to come through there? Not that I can see. Hammer... Air filter. Okay, do I have uh, lock picks on me? I do. I got 15. All right, let's see if we can pick this. If not, I've got uh, my other lock pick, also known as an auger. Oh shit! It sounds like they're up over there. Oh, not good. He's still not dead. Good lord. And we peppered his ass with the bullets even before he fell off the roof. Okay, let's see if who... Whoever else is coming up here, we can... Get a little little more XP out of them, I guess, before we reset. Um, you know what? We actually could use this right now. I didn't bring any damn food with me, did I? That wasn't smart. Okay, let's scrap this. Uh, let's take a red tea. I went out and picked a whole bunch of chrysanthemum, and I also I cut down a bunch of trees to get wood. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, Shoot. I wish I would have checked my food level before we left, but, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll be okay. Let's take this apart because you can get steel ingots from it. 
Not that that matters a whole lot now because we can make our own steel, but hey, what the hell, right? Let's just do it. No steel, just iron. Uh, all right, so I have a feeling like this, even though this is only a tier two, it's not going to be a walk in the park. But, you know, the other thing about these quests, though, is it's not just the tier that determines the difficulty, but it's also your game stages. So, I mean, if we have irradiated bikers, that means we're pretty damn high game stages. So we're going to have to really uh, be careful in here. Let's drop off what we currently have. Uh, that we don't need to take in there. We'll drop all of this stuff off. Uh, I'm going to keep some gasoline with me because we might need it, you know, to open something up for the auger. Um, that it, we're going to sell. Let's put the... You know what? Actually, let's keep the beer in case we need it for stun immunity, which we might. I'm even going to put that thing down there on the toolbar. Let's put that in there, too. We might be able to use it later. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's do this now. Let's do this. It's a fetch and clear. It's going to give us the most XP, but it's also going to be the hardest fight, too. So. Uh, you know what, too? Let's, um... Let's keep this... And this on the toolbar so we can use crowd control. Get those things out of the way. <clears throat> oh, we got some lockers in here, too. You know what? We might be able to find nerdies in here. We do have that perk, too, that lets us jump off of stuff while crouched and it doesn't make any noise, which is very useful. Okay, let's grab this thing. Get a little bit of brass. Wait, what the hell? No, 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 no! Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, man! I almost... Oh, shit, that would have pissed me off so bad. I just caught myself in the nick of time. I swear, I, I say this all the time, but they have got to put... Are you sure you want to scrap this message in this game? I know it's my fault, but, you, you know, you just... Sometimes shit happens, right? Can't always do everything right all of the frickin' time. Especially if you're me. <laughs> okay. I can't even block that off because... Wait, yeah, I can. What? Yeah, there's some kind of weirdness going on in here. Can't get it to go in there. Okay, well, that will at least funnel them uh, through one area. Yeah, there's something there that's stopping that. Okay, good. fair enough. Let's check these lockers. These are all whole lockers, which is fantastic. Hey, that's the speedy college jacket, right? It is. Run speed 10%. Um, it would replace our leather duster. And, the, you know, the duster no longer gives us no longer gives us armor like it used to. It does give us decent heat and cold resist. Whew. We'd be, we'd be sacrificing a hell of a lot of heat resist, but... Um, I think what we'll do is let's, let's just try it and see. You know, if we start to have problems with heat, I might have to... to change things, change it back. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna hang on to this duster. I'm not gonna get rid of it. Okay, so overalls give us less heat but more cold resist based upon, you know, what we have there, which we don't need. Um, this is going to give us more cold, which, again, we don't need. We do get, it does get a little bit cold at night sometimes, but we don't need the cowboy hat. Uh, we don't need this, well, yeah, let's hang on to that for selling, I guess. Okay. 
All right, well, no nerdy glasses in there, so we'll keep keep looking. There's more lockers to be had, so that's a good thing. Oh, I did... Uh, the other thing that I did, too, you guys, is I bought from the trader the schematic for the, um, uh, the three uh, triple storage Pokemon. So I bought that and made all those for my armor. However, I am shortchanging myself a little bit because... I'm wearing the the high performance running shoes, you know, for the the speed, or I mean the yeah the stamina and the running. So at some point I might trade those out, you know, for some actual boots though. Uh, however, that being said, we only have three more slots to go, so even with three slots, we're not in that bad of shape. Okay. Oh come on, man. Okay, we're gonna just scrap these two. Get the leather. Nerdies, nerdies, nerdies. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Well, wait. Yeah, that's a that's a cosmetic mod. No, it isn't. It's an actual mod mod. Darn it. Uh. Well, nope. We're gonna have to wait until we get something that gives us three mod slots to use that then. Nice. Okay, that will sell. It just goes back outside. Okay, let's move on into the next room. These these openings are not really conducive to crowd. Oh shit! Ah! Will you go down? Tough son of a bitch, man. Yeah, I was not, uh, obviously not ready for those guys. So I went, I went to my oh shit weapon. <laughs> you know, we could run into this room and close that door to buy us a second or two, and we need to repair this too. Okay. We got this. Holy Moses. Okay, let's, um... Let's uh blah, 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 let's make one of these. And we're gonna take a pill. See, that's the other thing, man. If I was gonna try and get through all of these quests within three days, it's not like I can just run through this willy-nilly. Uh it's dangerous AF in here. Okay, we're gonna have to chug back a couple of these. Okay, let's try this again. This guy's just came right on down the stairs there. Son of us. Elevator shaft. Okay, there's a dude right there. Let's see if we can get a preemptive off on him. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? That is not a working vending machine, which means we can get steel from it. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Five, uh, five steel ingots from that one thing. Where the hell did you come from? Are you dead? I think so. Wow! Look at our health, man. We lost almost half of our health. Son of a... I mean, we've got frickin' steel armor on, too. We are really taking a beating in here. Jeez Louise, okay. Yeah, we might have to we might have to give up these shoes, at least while we're doing POIs and put, you know, because I have some steel boots back at the base. 
I mean, these are great, you know, for if we're out, you know, doing manual labor types of things. Not that we do much of that either because we've got a chainsaw and auger now, but I don't know. I think these are are not helping our cause here. So I think next time we come out, we're going to we're gonna put some steel boots on. Good Lord, though, we are taking a pounding in here and we haven't, haven't even gotten off the first floor yet. Okay, well, let's keep moving here. I've only got one uh, first aid kit left too, and only got one painkiller, and I'm still still got the thing going on there. Okay. So we've got a. All right, we've got that part done. Uh, mountain lions? No, that's useless to us. I mean, we can get make a hundred coin off of it. I guess we'll keep it. Let's check this room in here. The door is locked. Is this a kitchen or a bathroom or something? Ten percent more damage to vultures. Yes, please. Yes, please. That's a nice find. Very nice find. Um, I guess we'll take that, uh, but we don't need those, so I'll scrap them. Okay. Um, I do have the the perk the gets me um, brass and lead from sinks so let's take that more shoddy shells always good nice and we'll take an extra wrench too coffee Coffee grounds. Um, what, 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 what would we give up for that? Probably the lead. I've got a lead mine. You get so much lead from that mine. It's not even. <sighs> we don't really need these either. Scrap a doodle. There we go. We do need some of that. Don't need that. Okay, let's take this. Uh, let's take another pain pill. And then we're going to go back out to the bike and drop some stuff off because we're like completely filled up here. Do I have leather on me already? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's uh, harvest the leather from this couch. Uh, these couches, rather. Okay, well, we've finished the bottom floor. <laughs> oh, jeez. Seems like it's taken forever to do this. Oh, okay. So, let's see. We got a full stack of shoddy shells. I'm going to drop all this stuff off here. Uh, we'll keep that stuff in case we come across more of it. We'll probably, at some point, come across more brass. I think that's it for now. Oh, yeah, let's put that in there. And we got one more slot. Let's, what can we use for that last slot? We're probably going to come across some more brass. We're probably going to come across more leather. Oh, man, there isn't really anything I want to put in here, though. So, yeah, whatever. Let's just go. So we've already pulled a couple of Zekers from from the upper floor. But I'm sure there's going to be plenty more. Is 
There's more lockers. Yeah, this is a really hard place to do the crowd control. Oh, those are nice. Does this floor look like it'll collapse, or am I just imagining things? That was loud. Like there's a seam there. Okay, I guess that's just the elevator. <laughs> Jeez. Don't need any more of those. We need nerdies. Come on, game. Killing me. Okay, it shows a Zeke upstairs. One over that way, looking on the compass, and there's one in here. All right, let's. There's his foot. Well, whatever it is, it's not irradiated and it's not a biker, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here quietly. We're going to close that door, and we're going to take you out. Okay, now... Oh, shit! Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Um, I don't have time. I don't have time to put put down a thing. It's like it's not even stunning him. Okay, time for this. Are you dead? He's still not dead. <laughs> oh, man. Hey! You're not dead either? No, 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 no. Get the right weapon! Shit! Oh, fuck! I switched back to my shotgun, which was out of ammo, so then I switched back to the frickin' uh, M60, which I was still trying to reload. I shouldn't have reloaded it at the time. The, the thing about those guys is... I'll, yeah, it was my fault. I admit it, but... Okay. <laughs> the thing about... The thing about those guys is they... You know, they fall down twice, and then you think they're dead, because, you know, most zombies only fall down once. A couple of them fall down twice, but they fall down like three times before they die, and it just throws me off. Oh, good lord, that makes me mad. Okay, makes me mad because now we have we have to get 25% XP back before we can make any progress. I hate that. I hate that debuff so much. I cannot tell you. I cannot begin to tell you how much I hate that debuff. <sighs> okay, um, do I have any gasoline here? Does this have any gasoline in it? One of these should have gas in it. Yeah, that one's got almost a full tank. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's grab this epic magnum that we found. And let's grab a nine. I don't have any extra seven, six, twos. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. So let's grab this two. Oh, man. That's so frustrating, you guys. So frustrating. Yeah, this game, you know, what what in the hell are my game stages at anyway, right now? At 185. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's 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 it. That's why. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad right now I could just spit. Okay, that's loaded. Um, let's grab a couple of mods just so we have a little extra punch. See, this is why I need to get my, um, I need to start getting my gun skills up. Because I'm just not doing that much damage, you know? Because uh, I have shitty gun skills on everything. Let's put you on there. Muzzle brake mod. What's that do? Reduces recoil. Um, well, more importantly, it gives us more, more damage. And then on you, let's just put the crippler thing a doodle, I guess, and we'll just use the magnum straight up. Okay, um, don't have any extra armor I can put on too. 
Yeah, let's. That's what we should have been wearing in the first place, right? So we'll grab those. We got some extra steel thing madoodles. Uh, let's grab which one of these has more armor? That has twelve. That has eleven. So let's grab this one. And we need something for our legs and something for our arms. Let's grab these two so we do a little more damage with our pistol. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, well, let's go back. Oh, while we're here, while we're here, um, let's grab those and we're only one thing a thing away from food right now so let's just eat a piece well that's kind of a waste because this gives us 10 max stamina so maybe what we'll do is we'll ride out there and then we'll take this right before we go back into the building let's get a little bit bit of extra beverage to take with us too and um first aid yeah let's take those bandages and i think we're good okay all right let's go cannot believe it yeah I just uh, I did a poor job of selecting my weapons and I underestimate well I didn't underestimate I just assumed that they were down after the second time but no that wasn't the case you know what we're out of time I just realized that <laughs> we're out of time. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be, uh, we're going to have to do this one in two parts. So uh, when I get back uh, or when I bring you back, rather, it'll be the next episode and we'll just pick up, you know, where we left off. There's a wolf and continue going through that place. Man, that place is no freaking joke. And we're only on tier two. My goodness. Oh, tier three is going to be scary as hell. But that's just the way it goes we spent so much time you know in the early early and mid game just doing all that exploring and we got our levels up and we got our game stages up and i feel like i'm just maybe a little bit behind the curve at least in terms of our damage so we've got to we really got to start focusing on getting some gun skills up for sure but guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe. Bye-bye.